Alright, welcome back to SOS. I'm Staff Sergeant Badass. You ever see those kits that you're scrolling through like Instagram or Amazon or wherever and you see these little boxes and they've got all these doodads in them and it looks like some crazy stuff. It looks like a deal. Well, you get them and you find out it's actually not so cool and it's most of the stuff's broken. Well, I've got something here that Chip sent me. Chip's awesome. He he supports the channel all the time and he's a big member in the community. Everybody everybody in the community knows knows Chip. So uh thank you, brother, for sending this in. It's awesome. And um the kit is uh 15 bucks. And I've got some comparisons here to show you the difference between something like this and something like the one you get ripped off. Alright, let me pull you over here. All right, let's take a look at this thing. But before I open it, you see the size of this thing, right? There's a big difference. It's a $15 kit. And I know it's it's got some corny trash written on it, like uh, deluxe military grade recon emergency survival kit. It seems very intense, right? All right, let me show you the difference between a cheap kit. This kit, I'm not, I'm not going to open it and go into detail about the trash that was in it. It was $20 for this, right? I paid twenty dollars for something like this. It looks, it's disguised as this, and look at this. You see the difference there? And people get suckered in by something like this. They kind of want some of the trash that's in one of these deluxe kits, right? But they get suckered in by something like this, and they think they're getting the same thing, and they're not. They're getting ripped off. All right, fifteen dollar version, right? Versus the twenty. I'm just throwing out. Yeah, go ahead and open it. I hear you. I hear you. You're yelling. No, to stop yelling. All right. You ready? You want me to take like 15 more minutes? All right, let's open it up. All right, now around here, we get chupacabra in my yard all the time. So I'm hoping that there's some stuff in this kit that'll help me survive a uh, chupacabra attack. All right. Chip said I can make jokes if I wanted to. All right, right off the bat, this is this is what you see looks pretty intense there's a lot of packaging let's just kind of go through each item the one right off the bat that's not packaged i don't have to waste any time with is this really interesting knife it's a very interesting knife do, 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 do. and the way it closes is like this so you squeeze this guy here breaks it back down and it clips on your pants or your keychain whatever it is and it's all metal. Yeah, it's all metal. There you go. And it comes with this knife. Let me zoom in. Don't worry, I won't take that long with the knife. I know someone's probably freaking out by now. All right, there's that. Let me zoom back in on the kit. There we go. A whistle. With a lanyard for your keychain. Crazy looking whistle. See how it works. And it works. I'm pretty sure if I blew in it harder, it would definitely be louder. You could definitely distract uh, the Loch Ness Monster if he's coming at you with that thing. It probably calls in Loch Ness Monsters. I don't know. I wouldn't want to try it. I'm scared of Loch Ness Monsters. All right. This is a compass. Let's see how heinous this is. Solid brass. Looks like we've got... Okay, that's just so you can open it. I thought it had a dent in it, but it looks like that's just to open it. Kind of, I'll take you through it so you can see it's not garbage. This unscrews if you want to take it off. And that's, is that like plastic? Okay, it's just got a little scuff on it. Yeah, that's just leftover plastic. There we go. Are we going north here? Okay. Was well, wanting to go to north. It's just not. I'm not going to say this is the best compass in the world, but it definitely has good features to it. And it glows in the dark. So it does glow in the dark. 
All right, set that to the side. What's next? Zoom back in. All right, we're right off the bat. Let's see what this is. A decent, non-corroded ferrule rod. <laughs> and there's your striker. Rides right in there just like that. They could have loosened that up a little bit better. But yeah, there's your striker. And you could just push right into that. Or like this. It gets better bite like that, I'm assuming. Here. Turn you down. Don't worry. Ain't nothing going to catch fire over here. Okay. So she sparks. That's good. It's always a good sign if it sparks, right? People are going to be like, you're going to blow your house up. All right. Little, little flashlight. What else we got? What's this? Oh, cool. Here we go. These are actually pretty good. I gave one of these to Wes S. I thought it was a cool flashlight. It's pretty BA. And I don't know. It probably does not have batteries. Most of the times when you get kits like this, uh, it won't come with battery. No, it won't. All right. Let me grab a battery. All right. Super cheap. Rayovac. Let's see if this works. Okay. Nothing. I think this. Hang on. I think I actually grabbed a crappy battery. Hang on. Okay. Yes, it was the battery. It has a strobe. Regular flashlight. Okay. Double tap for strobe. That's not a bad little flashlight. Not bad at all. And these are, um, you can find these online all day long. This is a very cheap, cheap flashlight. I mean, but if you look at all the items that you're getting, I mean, all right. Okay, enough. Okay, enough about the flashlight. Here we go. Let's move some other stuff out of the way. What's this guy? All right. This is identical to the one I carry every single day. I carry this in my uh, right front pocket. And no, no, if we even have okay, we do have uh ink. There we go, should be like gravity, yeah, right. But it should have if you open this guy up, these are cool. I mean, it's solid pen. I love this pen. Uh, this is the same one that I carry every single day, but yeah, it comes with the uh, and I even keep back up inside uh. Inside here, I keep extra. There's there's some extra of these pins. You can pretty much, it's like a space pin. You can pretty much write upside down. Goes together pretty good. Nice and solid. Just turn it on, turn it off. That's it. But I, yeah, I clipped this in my front pocket. This thing's epic. Solid, solid pin. It's one of my favorite pins. Actually, it's my favorite pin. All right. This, everybody knows what this dumb thing is. You know, it doesn't work very good for a saw. It doesn't work very good for a lot of things. If if it was a survival scenario and this is all I had, I would hate my life, but at least I have it. Works pretty good for opening up, uh, you know, some uh, uh, natural light or uh, or some, uh, some paps or something like that. Just kidding. <laughs> some cores, whatever. Champagne. There you go for all you champagne nuts out there. All right, here's a. This is a space blanket. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, it does provide aid in an emergency. Wrap yourself up in it, stay warm, and uh, that's pretty much the deal. If it's super windy. It definitely helps with wind. But there's not a really a lot to talk about. And then you get this super huge box, which is awesome compared. Let's just try something real quick. Yep. Just as I suspected. And that is why you don't buy a cheap kit. Now, $15. Did you get your money's worth? These are about a dollar at Walmart. Uh, this compass would probably be a couple of bucks, probably. And you have to justify why you bought these. 
these are probably 50 to a dollar 50 cents to a dollar not not 50 dollars but 50 cents to a dollar uh, sometimes online uh, these pens, I've seen these pens go for outrageous amounts of money, but I'm not going to put some ridiculous amount on it. I'll say three bucks for the pen. Uh, let's just say, uh, two bucks for the flashlight. Have I made my money back? Let's say a dollar for this. And then the knife, we'll do a couple of bucks on the knife because that's actually a pretty decent knife. I'm actually going to carry that. I'm digging that and it's sharp. That's a cool knife. I want to hang that on my little bag. Whistle. Everybody needs a whistle. I'm going to give this to the girls. They're probably going to run around the house and drive me nuts. But uh, the whistle, 25 cents. This is about 50 cents, maybe a dollar, something like that. But definitely beyond $15 here. So you're getting your money's worth if you buy a kit like this. So nothing broke. You guys watched me unpack it. And so so far, so good, right? Now, none of these kits are going to save your life or anything, right? But I just wanted to, since since Chip sent it in, I wanted to do a video on it and say, hey, guys, gals, at least, if you click on one, click on this recon one. I'm just saying, this guy. Click on that one and save a few bucks. If you're gonna, If you're going to get suckered into one, get suckered into that one. You'll definitely, uh, you'll definitely be more happy than getting sucked into the other one, like I did. I didn't get sucked into it. Someone actually asked me, hey, can you buy one of those stupid kits and put it on the show? Sure, why not? So I went on Amazon. First one looked interesting. Ordered it. Every bit of it was garbage. It all, all broke. I think the only thing that actually was still functional was this stupid thing. That was about the only thing in it was worth, worth uh, anything. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. You watch SOS. I'm Staff Sergeant Badass. Have a beautiful, fabulous, fantastic day. Take it easy. Rainbows and unicorns and all that other crazy stuff out there. Loch Ness Monster and Yetis. Stay clear of them. They're dangerous.